And welcome back. This is Bellascopa with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I will be doing this post commentary yet again. My opponent in this upcoming match is Shidori. He is ranked 5th in his Platinum Division with 2,784 points, 785 wins, and 779 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Northeast up against Shidori. He is the blue Protoss player in the Southwest. The map is Zelnaga Caverns, not one of my favorites. And he didn't answer me. Oh, why don't people answer me? It's always so sad. So, so sad. But uh, I'm not sure. I haven't uploaded the live games yet. But since I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see those, I went back to the post commentary here. I do have quite a few games that I'm willing to do post commentary right now. Of course, I can't go back and do them live. So you will be stuck with this if you did not like it. So um, once again, let me know which ones you guys like better. If you didn't already, the live commentary during the game. Uh, actually me playing the game or this post game analysis type commentary want to do this for you guys so I want to do what you guys want and it looks like Shidori is gonna be chrono boosting the Nexus here he wants a heavy economic build gonna be going for a gateway of course my first barracks is on the way so the b gateway is about nine eight or nine seconds faster at my barracks. Uh, on a side note, I just read before coming online here to broadcast this game that they have announced BlizzCon is once again going to be in Anaheim and I am stoked about that because that means I'll probably get to go again because it's down the street. I actually passed by the convention center today trying to get coffee actually. Um, that it's on the way to the coffee truck that I go to. That's how close I am to that convention center. This gateway is up. Looks like I am getting a little bit of scouting done. He is unable to catch my SUV. They actually go at the same speed there, but he has gotten two hits on him. Uh, my first gateway is up. Orbital Command is being warped in. And Supply Depot is going up in the back. Um, I don't know if I actually checked down here. Um, it's been so long since I've been cheesed uh, with those proxy gateways, proxy pylons, that I forget to check often. And that's bad. Always check. Cybernetics Core is coming in next. Pretty standard here. What is next? Looks like he's going to be going to a gateway now, so he's going to be sticking with the tier 1 units, the gateway units. Doesn't... there we go. I was about to say, it doesn't look like he's uh, using the Chrono Boost, he might be saving it, but no, he's going to be pumping out the probes with it. He's expecting a long-term game here. Second, uh, third pylon, sorry, is going down before that second gateway is up. I am going for three racks inside my base, so I will be getting two more barracks. Two tech labs should be going down on those. I'm continuing to pump out SCVs as fast as I can. He should have, yes, he does have quite a lead in the harvester count right now. That is because of that chrono boost. I cannot chrono boost. And what's this? Looks like he's going for two gate robo. So we should be seeing either an observer or uh, an immortal out of there. I forgot the name of it for a second there. I hate them so much that I wanted to forget their name. Another pylon going down. Uh, I love the l new little layout of the pylon instead of just the um, the siege tank white dotted line thing that I had going on when I had the lower settings. I am so happy about these higher settings now. It helps me play the game so much better. I've finally caught up and gotten used to the controls. And I'm, I went on a winning streak, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know if that counts this game because, of course, I, 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 when I say a winning streak, I'm not like, oh, I won 10 games in a row. A winning streak means I went, you know, like 7 and 3, something like that, you know. I, I it, it, Does anybody ever just continually win, like, 20 in a row, anything like that? I've never seen it. An immortal is what's coming out of the robotics facility right here. A sentry is on the way as well. Warp gate technology just started. Uh, how long ago was that? Uh, about... 
10 seconds before I said anything, he is going to be Chrono Boosting right now, and it looks like he's actually stopped producing harvesters. But he's given me the full opportunity to catch up here. But it looks like I'm moving out here. Um, wow. Single file, everybody. That is the best way to attack single file. So I'm going for the Zelmaga Towers. Luckily, nothing is there. If he had his army there, I would have been screwed because those guys were out of position. But this is how I usually handle my army. So I can keep macroing up in my base, and look, I am able to do that, especially a little bit better than he is. He does have less gas than I do, though. But these guys luckily bunch up before they get to the expansion, and now we are going in. How's this going to work out? You know, in the first valley. Oh, now I spot the, the immortal, so I'm focusing that thing down. Am I gonna be able to finish it off? No, I'm not. So I focus down the country, which is the only thing I think I can finish off before this army is completely decimated. Unable to kill that immortal. It did get two kills. Once again, 20 damage, 50 to armor. That thing is expensive, though. Oh, it's already on the production tab. I am getting an engineering bay up in my base. Macro did fall apart just a little bit there. Not too bad, though. Uh, I do need that second refinery as soon as I can. That is why he's on the way. It does look like I stopped producing SUVs. There we go. And then, yes. So I'm fully caught up here. Uh, back to normal. Continuing to pump out everything I can, including the supply depots. How is the army count? Oh, I am so far behind right now. Looks like he is going for the expansion here. He is getting warp gate up, still on two gate robo. He has a twilight council up. Uh, once again, I'm not sure about the tech tree on that. Um, but it doesn't look like he's getting either blink or charge out of it yet. And yet, I've lost quite a few units, and I was only able to take out his sentry and a zealot. That is why it's 250 Only getting one gas at the expansion right now. But meanwhile, I do have an army up, so I'm moving out once again. Once I saw that was all he had, I wanted to get that pressure down as fast as I could. And as you can see, he has not been making armies this entire time. Armies have been building his army. Jeez, what am I doing today? But it looks like we're going to be moving out at the same time, so he's going to catch me a little off guard here. Um... Uh, no, he doesn't catch me. He stopped right there. I don't know why. Let's look at the army size. He is still so far ahead thanks to, to those immortals. But I see him running there. He doesn't catch me, so I move in. I'm trying to catch these immortals off guard here. I'm trying to focus him down. There goes one. There goes two. And there goes three. Am I going to have enough to cut this out? No, I do not. But I do get the game a lot closer here. Look at that. It is only down to just 350 difference between the armies lost. Why is this observer hanging out with his army? I don't understand that. He he doesn't have anything in my base. What has he seen in my base? He has, any, he has nothing. He has no sight in my base whatsoever. I do have three missile turrets up in the bas up in the back of my base. I have one up front in case he tries to go for Dark Templars because I don't want those Dark Templars coming in again. Oh, that was so scary, that game. <laughs> I haven't actually gone back and listened to my own commentary, but there's got to be about a minute, minute and a half of just silence of me trying to, to micro stuff around while absolutely failing at StarCraft while those Dark Templars were inside my base. Uh, this mortal is just chilling out here. I don't know if he's stuck. It doesn't look like he is, but no. No, okay. Good. Actually, no. Why weren't you stuck? You, you need a, about an inch longer legs. That way you could have been stuck. He's still on two gate robo? It looks like he's still producing, though. I mean... Oh, no, there you go. He's just not get, he doesn't have the income. I was about to say, how is he still producing? You know, um, looks like I'm doing a lot better on, uh, the in, on the mineral management right now. Do have the... Uh, 
Do have a factory up. Doesn't look like I'm getting anything out of it yet. I have a starport on the way. Uh, continuing to pump out marines and marauders, getting the armor weapons, or er, armor weapons, the armor weapons upgrade. I got the weapons upgrade and I'm getting the armor upgrade. Uh, stim pack, concussive shells. These guys have combat shield. They do. Once again, I still want that icon right, right there. Combat shield is gotten. Does have a third warp gate up. And once again, he's doing a lot better at managing his money than I would expect. But it doesn't look like... Well, it looks like that's because he's not... There we go. He's finally chrono boosting some, some probes out of one nexus. Not producing any out of the other one. He is not... Uh, no, he could use one more. But that's decent saturation right there on in his main... Looks like he's queuing up those, SU, or those uh, probes to go to the gas there, but he's got so much gas already. He is he needs more sentries coming out. He is chrono boosting the ground armor level one. These guys will be uh, zero one zero one zero zero. Once again, this is another Protoss player going for the for the armor first. I don't know why they do that. I I did finally figure out with that high templar zealot guy why he did that. Uh, because basically his zealots were meat shields for his high templar so he wanted them to live and they weren't really meant to do damage and the the weapons upgrade doesn't increase psi storm damage but for this player i don't know why he went for the armor first but it seems to be pretty common with protoss players if you guys have any insight into that I, i'd love to know what the reasoning for that is um it's kind of like in uh, rpgs you know you always spend your money on the weapons before you do the, the armor. Uh, you you want to kill things faster. You don't want to survive things better. I do have a planetary fortress up in my base. Meanwhile, it looks like he's moving in. Going to create a pot. I don't even, do you even call this a proxy pilot? It's, it's not. I mean, why not there? It looks like... This would be a great spot if he wanted to si if he wanted to you know secure that third expansion, but it doesn't look like he's doing that. Uh, the high yield expansion, sorry, it is not the third expansion. I do have a missile turret up here in case he goes for an observer, or goes for dark templars at the front. But yes, uh, he does take out the missile turret, but I did chop that observer in his army. Those, those force fields are well placed there. There aren't many of them because there's such a wide choke here. But I re them up. I do have a couple medevacs out to heal these guys up. And it does look like I am going to be able to take the lead here in the army lost now. Looking at the eyes, eyes of the army. Yes, I have a commanding lead here. And I need to move out. But I don't know that. I don't realize that all he has left right now are three zealots and a mortal. And if I did know that, I'd probably be inside his base right now. Once again, he's only got three warp gates up on two base. This thing is fully loaded on energy he's not using it at all but then again i've seen the pros play and they don't seem to use their chrono boost as much as i would recommend i mean man i hate to to, to say hey the pros aren't doing that great of a job because i'm not doing i'm doing an even worse job than they are i can guarantee you that but they're not using the chrono boost so it, it just goes to show you that uh there's always more to be done in a game, I guess. Maybe the Chrono Boost is useless as for a certain point. What do I know? I do have two siege tanks up, and now they are going in my base. And I fell apart on the macro once again. I do have five racks up, but it doesn't look like I'm able to get as much production out of it as I want. What am I getting? Am I getting anything out of the factory? No. Starport? Yes! So I am doing a little bit of work here. I do have four four really this i mean i have four up here once again it's just like the energy on the orbital command there's really no reason for it to go up to 200 use it for a mule use it for a supply use it for a scan uh there's so many things you can use it for there's really no reason for it to be all the way down or all the way up there we go what's he chrono boosting he is chrono boosting another immortal so there you go he is very low on minerals here um He's he's oversaturated at his expansion, not mining any more after these. You know, 90, 150, 10. He's got 250 
minerals in his base in his main base and he's not even bothering to send one SCV to go get him. He's gonna be breaking down the rocks here to go for another expansion. So many sentries in this army here. Uh, and look, he's got yeah, look at that, he's got so much gas right now. Oh what about me? Yay, I caught up. Okay, so I do have the five racks up and it is taking away a lot of uh, my minerals right now. So you can see two reactors, three tech labs, uh, not getting anything out of the starport or the factory right now. Don't know why. Uh, looks like I am trying to go with destructible rocks up front. I already took the ones out here because if I'm going to expand, I want to expand twice and then try to hold the, and then hold the army off while I'm doing that because I am so oversaturated here. Let's see, 24, 28, and a mule. And so I'm not producing SCVs anymore. And there we go. I am going for the third uh, command center here at the high yield so that I can get a planetary fortress and pretty much use this as my new defensive point. He is going for his third nexus at the uh, somewhat third, you know, I don't know. To me, it's split between these two. Uh, which one is your third naturally? Uh, really, I like to go for um, I, I like to go for this one first because I'm Terran. And since I'm Terran, I can do that and get a planetary fortress and, and boom, instant defense. I'm taking out the proxy pylon going, okay, there was, there was nothing there. So he should know where I am. I'm checking out the rocks here. I see that he doesn't have anything. He is going to be trying to... S no, I thought he was going to be sneaky for a second there. An observer going out. Um, once again, he keeps it with his army. Has he... I don't think he's still, no, he still hasn't seen inside my base at all. Meanwhile, I am going to be able to force a cancel on that Nexus. One Marauder is enough to take out that probe. I, I do have, these guys are 2-1. There's no excuse for them not to be higher right now. I do have the minerals and gas for it, but it looks like I'm too busy microing down here. And that is not a good excuse, but that is the only excuse that I have. I why it's not happening. And it looks like I'm able to catch his arm right here. I don't know how that happened, but these siege tanks are way in the back. And he's not going to be able to hit them. Uh, thanks to his own force fields, it looks like. So these tanks are going to be heroes for me. This guy didn't get me killed. These six and seven tells me the story. And I'm moving in, and that's the game. He leaves no GG. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, maybe he's just frustrated. There are a couple times when I'm just frustrated with myself and I leave the game. And if that was uh, my, my mineral tab at the end of it, I would be upset and just leave like that as well. Uh, once again, too much gas. Uh, need to use it here and here. Uh, so wh where's my army? I, kn I know I have an armory. Not an army, armory. Well, I do have an army too, but I need vehicle plating, uh, maybe another one of those. Um, this guy needs to be a planetary fortress as well. Uh, start moving all these guys up here. There's still a lot to be done in this game on the macro side, but because I was doing so much down here, I was doing so well, I figured that the game was in the bag, and it was. But that's no excuse. Need to go back and do that. Always room for improvement, apparently even with the pros, because like I said, they don't use the Chrono Boost, which kind of scares me. But that was the game. I wanted to give you guys a longer one, uh, because I've been giving you such short ones lately that I wanted to go back and, you know, give you one that uh, relied more heavily on macro than it did on um, opening builds. And so this one seemed perfect for that, even though I didn't do as well as I would like in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.